Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we're tackling laundry. Does laundry never seem to end? Did your child have to wear a dirty uniform to a game? Did you want to wear your favorite dress but discovered it needed to be dry cleaned? Let's clear some physical clutter as we continue our month focusing on back to school. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Looking to organize your life? Do you feel stuck and are ready for a change? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join award-winning professional organizer and coach Julie Caraccio on clearing the clutter inside and out as she supports you in navigating the waters of decluttering your life and getting organized. Julie thinks outside the box and examines clutter in all areas, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, and more. Ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? It's laundry time. Here are some laundry statistics from about.com. The average American family does eight to 10 loads of laundry each week. A single load of laundry from wash to dry takes an average of one hour and 27 minutes to complete. Only 21.2% of American households use a clothesline. Because I like to be green, I wanted to share some green statistics. I have a, had a high efficiency washer and dryer for years, and our home is one of the most energy efficient in our neighborhood. Our power company sends us quarterly updates. If you're looking to buy a high efficiency washer, this may motivate you. Even if you don't care about the polar bears, being green can save you money. According to Grand Valley State University, 7,000 gallons, the amount of water saved per year by a typical front-loading washing machine compared to a top-loading washing machine. 34 million tons is the amount of carbon dioxide emissions that would be saved if every household in the U.S. used only cold water for washing clothes. 34 million tons, the amount of carbon dioxide emissions that would be saved if every household in the United States used only cold water for washing clothes. 99 pounds, the amount of carbon dioxide emissions saved per household each year by running only full loads of laundry. Laundry. Routine is key. I have an earlier podcast where I talk about creating routines and how they save you time. Decide what days of the week will be laundry days. Even if you have a big family, don't do laundry every day. Designate specific days. Have a family rule that dirty laundry must be placed in the hamper before the next laundry day. I'm a huge fan of color coding, and if you're able, continue it here with different colored laundry baskets for each person. This will make dividing and putting away clothes easier. Use clothes pins to designate what clothes have stains and where the stains located. Note on your calendar any special clothing school days like Green for Earth Day. Check the calendar in advance to be sure special items are laundered in time. Organizing your laundry area. Ideally, you have a good size area with counter space for folding and that is well lit to see stains. My current setup is in a laundry closet and even with the hallway light, I have to take the clothes into the kitchen to treat stains. I also have to fold on top of the dryer and if I have a load or two, I'm out of luck. Store laundry detergents out of reach of small children. Ideally, you'll have room to store laundry baskets when not in use. If you're tight on space, you can install a retractable clothesline or use a free stranding drying rack. I have one inside the closet door that stores my ironing rack and iron. Separate clothes by color and level of dirtiness. Wash lint givers like towels separately from lint takers like fleece garments. Don't forget to clean your laundry machine every so often. Run a cycle without clothes and use a cup of bleach. Make sure you run a full cycle and use the rinse cycle. Surrounded by clutter? Tired of the stress it creates? Ready to find peace of mind and reduce your anxiety? Our comprehensive How to Declutter Your Life course guides you step by step in how to clear clutter and simplify your life. Each section is three months, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, and features manageable to-dos. A bonus month on clearing energetic clutter is also included. Choose either workbook or video course. How to Declutter Your Life is designed to build a strong foundation for releasing clutter and continued personal growth. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. When in Rome, 
Europeans are well known for wearing clothes more than once. If you don't do that now, consider doing it. Things like jeans can be worn more than once. T-shirts from a gym workout, probably not. When I record my podcast, I am only wearing a shirt for an hour at the most. I hang it back up and use it again. Safety tips. A few safety tips. Never combine laundry detergent with ammonia or other household cleaners because some mixtures may release irritating or dangerous fumes. Put products away securely out of the reach of children and pets. Consider storing them in a high locked cabinet. Do not store on top of the washer and dryer. Rinse and recycle empty containers. Do not reuse detergent bottles. Use childproof locks on front-loading washers and dryers to prevent small children from opening the doors while they are in use and to prevent them from crawling inside. Clean the lint trap after each use to prevent fires. Clogged lint traps are a common cause of house fires. The Consumer Product Safety Commission reports that washers and dryers were involved in one out of every 22 home fires reported between 2006 to 2010. According to Consumer Reports, in the first six months of 2015, poison control centers nationwide received over 6,000 reports of kids five and younger ingesting or inhaling laundry pods or getting pod contents on their skin or in their eyes, according to the American Association of Poison Control Centers. Although there have been changes made, Consumer Reports found there were still safety issues for children. I encourage you to do more research about safety tips in the laundry area. Stain removal. Here are a few tips for removing stains. The better you take care of clothes, the longer they'll last. If you have a garment that needs dry cleaning, blot off the excess and take to the cleaners as soon as possible. Blood stain, soak in cold water and pre-treat with a product with enzymes such as Biz or Oxy. Have chocolate, pre-treat with warm water and a product with enzymes. Crayon from the kids, Scrape what you can with a dull knife. Place an area between, place the area between paper towels and a warm iron. Replace the paper towels as the crayon is absorbed. Gasoline, use detergent-based stain removers and air clothing. Don't put in the dryer if a gas smell is detected. Fruit juice stain, soak it in cold water. And finally, grass, pre-treat it and use the hottest water for the fabric that it can tolerate. Going green in laundry. When I work with clients in clearing clutter and getting organized, I recommend ways they can be greener and eco-friendly if they're interested. Indoor pollution is as much of a concern these days as outdoor pollution. Also, what we use in our household makes its way to the waterways where we live and the water we drink. You can buy eco-friendly detergent or make your own. Here's a simple recipe. Get a bar or four and a half ounces of shaved bar soap, such as ivory or Fells naphtha, a cup of borax, a cup of washing soda. Thoroughly stir together for five minutes and store in a sealed container. Use a tablespoon per load or two to three tablespoons for large or heavy soiled loads. You can also use a clothesline to dry clothes instead of the dryer. This will save on electricity bills. Takeaways from today's podcast. Decide what days of the week will be laundry days and stick to that schedule. Don't forget to clean your laundry machine every so often. Run a cycle without clothes and use a cup of bleach. Make sure you run a full cycle and use the rinse cycle. Clean the lint trap after each use to prevent fires. Clog lint traps are a common cause of house fires. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Ready to clear clutter and share your gifts with the world? The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step, so what step will you take today? Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of our 10 Steps to Clearing Clutter. Julie Caraccio provides coaching, professional organizing and speaking, organizing classes, positive affirmations, and her unique How to Declutter Your Life course. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Subscribe to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out and join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m.